one and all present here. I would like to extend my special thanks to Dr. Bindeshwar Patak and the organizers of Sulab International. I would like to extend my thanks to Neil Ratan Ji, sir, and for guiding and helping me to reach this wonderful national conference. Last but not the least, I would like to thank Vinay Rajat, sir, for giving me a wonderful opportunity to present my paper on this conference. My study is about the comparative study on the attitudes and the practice regarding the menstrual hygiene among the adolescent girls from urban and rural area with special reference to Bangalore city and Ballari in Karnataka. My objective is to study the attitudes practice regarding the menstrual menstruation among the adolescent girls in both the places that is Ballari and Bangalore city. Initially when I wanted to do the study I had a prediction telling that yes since it's a metropolitan city Bangalore I thought that the people are quite educated and uh, they are more westernized but after doing my study I found out that the people as I thought still they are in not so much westernized and when it comes to the menstrual hygiene and my study was about the adolescent girls I took my own college which is a private institution and an autonomous college there also I could find that the girls still need they use clothes and they also struggle to purchase a sanitary pads and a quality one <laughs> that is what I could found and I also spoke to the girls uh, in Ballari when I also found that even they also need a lots of awareness program what happens if they use the sanitary pads for a very longer time especially when it comes to eight to nine hours when they have their classes exams they don't have a time to change and they doesn't know what is the consequence if they use the menstrual pads for a very long time that was one thing and most of the time when they have any issues they don't find anybody around them uh, to discuss these kinds of issues only thing is they need to take a break from the schools or the colleges or whatever classes they are into so it is also disturbing their daily routine as such and uh, they also told me about not having a proper toilets facilities there's no dustbins outside the toilets and they also wanted a sanitary pads of cheaper rate especially this was been told by the girls in Ballari so and many of them are so poor that they can't even afford to purchase a sanitary pads and they save their pocket monies only to purchase a sanitary pads a quality one so I found the same thing even in the urban areas as such many girls they don't feel comfortable talking about these issues when it comes to their own family male family member as such so we need to make sure that these kinds of issues are being discussed in our own home, hometowns among the male family members so that they also help and the quality sanitary pads and the toilet should be provided especially with water and hand soap everywhere this has to be provided it doesn't mean that it's an urban area it's always there no it is not like that there are certain area and the places which still has to be developed where and i also noticed that especially when it comes to the hostel and when it comes to the colleges the vending machine whenever they need a sanitary pads they have the vending machine but they doesn't work out what's the point when they need it in the emergency situation and nobody is there to give them a pads so that's really a not a good condition that has to be uh, implemented or that has to be prepared in such a way that they get it whenever they want it and many of girls they reside inside the college campus when they reside they cannot go outside the college after a certain time if the facilities like vending machines really works well obviously the girls can make use of those kinds of machine and along with that there should be also a proper disposable way see when there's no dustbin or when there is no burning machine so they will always find it difficult and they throw it here and there in the bathrooms or outside the windows or surrounding in and around area of the bathrooms so to avoid those things the burning or the proper disposable absorbent method has to be done that is my finding so I would like to suggest that there should be a proper uh, machines which actually anybody can operate just by putting two rupees or five rupees so that they get the parts whenever they require 
and they should also get a little more awareness program regarding the uh, the pad when they use it for a longer time or what is the cervical cancer what does it all leads to many girls when i spoke in the hostel i found that they are not aware of the cervical cancer or they doesn't know the consequence what happens if they use the pads for a very longer time that's my suggestion so everywhere the quality pads has to be given thank you thank you sir